Welcome to a, another tutorial from yeah boy. I hope you guys are enjoying your day so far. I know we kind of went on a railed my beak on that. I know we kind of went on a little hiatus uh, for a little bit there. Our editor Liam got uh, not editor, sorry, uh, the god. Liam, the producer Liam, and the god tier editor Liam got stuck because uh, of good old Bovid at his vacation spot visiting his parentals. So we weren't able to put out content, but it's all good because we are bussing with content now. So everyone give a very warm welcome back for Liam. We are going to be pushing all the content so be ready today we are going to be reviewing a beat i made a couple weeks back i've been really busy doing a lot of label stuff so i haven't been making a lot of beats fortunately and i've been feeling like a dog shitter and today's kind of the first day i've felt kind of normal you know just starting to starting to get back Trying to get back there. Anyways, this is a beat I cooked up a little while ago. Uh, I used my boy Chris Blair's MIDI out of his new MIDI kit that he is going to be coming out with very soon here. It is a very powerful kit, so make sure you stay tuned for that. <laughs> I kind of went for uh, more Juice World vibes on this. So I'll kind of show you what I did. So I started out with Addictive Keys. If you don't know what Addictive Keys is, it's basically the homeless person version of uh, Keyscape. So if you're homeless like me, um, Addictive Keys is for you. Addictive Keys is fire though. I won't even, I won't even uh, lie. But yeah, uh, I started with Addictive Keys. So yeah, I'll let you listen. That's what I started out with. I just kind of built off of that. For the next one, I'm pretty sure I just copied down what I had before. Yeah, I did. I just copied down what I had into Electra and I found this ARP, I believe it is, from Bro Beats. Shout out Bro Beats. Uh, that's what that sounds like like i said just copied down uh the first midi and then for this one i believe this is the same i might have did i add i want to say i added something here i definitely didn't for the expand i again i just copied it down i believe this is just a pad so we'll listen to this So yeah, just a nice simple pad just to kind of tie it all together. And then this is what I did myself. And I think this is just a lead, I believe. Yeah, this is just a soft lead from uh, Expand. And this is what this sounds like. Nice and simple, nothing crazy. And this is what it sounds like all together. So yeah, that's that's the melody for the beat. For the drums, again, super simple. I'm not gonna go through like the claps and shit because it's the same thing I literally do every single time. Everyone is doing this. Everyone does this, you don't need to see this. But what I used was the bit clap from the Omega kit. Let me show you that. Boom, busting on them. This is the Omega kit. Um, we will be dropping a new website very soon. Stay tuned. There's gonna be a video coming out for that new website. We're gonna have a bunch of kits and shit in there from the label, so keep it locked. Uh, don't look at this. Stop looking at it. Oh. Oh my god, what have I done? Stop looking, you're not allowed to see that yet. On to the next thing, snare, again, basic. Next one is the rim. Simple, and then the open hat.
And then we got this uh, hi hat. Everything you see with 3.6, um, these were made from the Omega kit. Shout out 3.6 for plugging those. A nice little pattern there. Brings a lot of bounce to the beat. And then we have the 808s. And this just follows the root notes of the beginning uh, MIDI that I have. As you can see, it is literally the exact same. I just chopped it into a pattern, obviously. And uh, this is what it sounds like. I feel like with these juice beats, you want to get a very melodic and, you know, kind of soulful uh, melody and then just keep it simple with the drums, just have a good bounce on it and just kind of let the artist do most of the work on the beat. And then at the beginning here, I actually just added some random thing from Nick Mirror's kit. This is just like water texture. So this is, this is, this is at the beginning. It's very quiet, very subtle, like, and then just this, um, overused FX. And that's it, pretty much. That's basically the whole beat for the arrangement. I did nothing crazy. I did the hook here, took out two of the kind of melodies, background melodies, and then brought it back with the Electra Arp. <laughs> And then just kind of let it drop like that and it kind of gives a really nice um kind of hits the listener's ear a little harder when you kind of give it a little bit of time to build up and then it drops like that i feel like that's really kind of i don't know just some ear candy uh and kind of gives a little pocket for the artist as well too that's uh basically it for the entire beat i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you learned something thank you for stopping by uh if you're here and um make sure you guys keep it locked in here because we are going to be dropping a new website like i said very very soon and it's gonna have a bunch of free kits on there gonna have some really sweet merch that we've been working hard on and um, lots of really fire kits you're not gonna want to miss it I'm really really excited to get it out to you guys I'm just waiting on a couple things right now so definitely keep it locked and stay tuned for all that good stuff if you want to follow me all my links and my socials will be down below make sure you join the discord as well too uh, for the label and uh, yeah that's kind of all I got so enjoy the rest of your day y'all and we'll We'll catch you soon. Peace.